Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and I'm really sorry for not posting videos and being active with you guys. I honestly don't have any excuse for it. I haven't really been doing much, and honestly, it's just all on me being lazy, so I'm really sorry. I'm gonna try and not let it happen, but I promise I'll never go without a full week uploading because there's just so much to talk about, like stuff going on in the world within Call of Duty and just gaming in general, and right now is such a great time to be alive because at your fingertips right now, you have literally so much information to process and for me personally I have fun discussing this stuff with you guys and reading your feedback even if it's opposed to what I say it's just so interesting to have your feedback and communication but yeah it's time for me to be real with you guys I have not really been enjoying Call of Duty World War 2 as much as I thought I would have if you follow me on Twitter then you know how I feel but if you don't I really do think that World War 2 has gotten kind of boring and yeah in the game's defense around this time between the release of the first DLC it's always gonna have that uh, between period of boredom I guess you can say but I don't know for infinite warfare for example I could probably play that game a little bit longer than I could with World War 2 because there was so much to do and grind for in the game like if you played then you pretty much could get whatever you wanted in the quartermaster and also there were the hacks and the bundles so again if you just continue to play infinite warfare then you you could pretty much get whatever you wanted from the quartermaster you could get whatever variant you wanted but for World War 2 there really isn't much to do in the game and I really haven't been feeling that desire that grind to get on and play and for other Call of Duty games I used to wake up super super early and grind and then I would stay up late until like 3 4 in the morning and then I'd wake up and do it all over again but for the past few years I haven't been feeling that desire and that will to get on and grind infinite warfare again actually made me feel somewhat rewarded for playing and I could play that game for a little while longer but I don't know for this game for World War 2 there really isn't much to do and grind for that's worth it and I don't know how you guys feel if you feel the same way but I mean the chrome camo doesn't look that appealing to me and you just don't get much for prestiging in this game the social rewards are not that great because you can pretty much unlock everything in the supply drops uh, but I don't know heck even supply drops themselves are kind of boring and like I said in my last video there aren't any good bundles to get and actually grind for uh, because all the bundles cost COD points you can't pay uh, say armory credits or anything like that so yeah that's kind of how I feel right now I do feel kind of bored but for some reason Black Ops 1 has been performing amazingly over this past holiday break here because uh, a few days ago I logged on to the game and I saw there were 64,000 people on this game and Black Ops 1 is like seven years old and there were 64,000 people online it's crazy but now that kind of leads me into my next topic and I want to talk about the next year Call of Duty game COD 2018 and what I feel it could be I'm gonna be honest I feel kind of weird talking about it because it does feel too early but I really really am super excited for Treyarch's next game because in my eyes they have not made a bad Call of Duty game to date and I have loved every single Treyarch COD game and I think that Treyarch will possibly come out with Black Ops 4 because that Black Ops series is a super super hot game right now like you just saw with Black Ops 1 had 64,000 people online and that game is seven years old Black Ops 3 probably actually definitely has over 100,000 people online maybe even a lot more so again that Black Ops series does well and I feel that it has not yet been beaten down and lost its meaning because of how well the games are and I feel again this is just my speculations I feel that their next game will be based in the modern era like sometime in between Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 because there is such a huge 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 gap between that time period and there has not been a modern COD game for years now I think uh, what the three developing studios should do is base their studio around one era for example Treyarch does the modern era and possibly a bit more into the future sledgehammer does uh, the past and I guess infinity war does the future but you can debate that I guess like maybe infinity war won't make a futuristic game because of the reception infinite warfare got even though there still is a pretty big fan base of that game but I feel that it is time to have a modern shooter and just instantly if Treyarch titles their next COD game black ops 4 that will instantly get the attention of fans all over the gaming world but uh, let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section down below. Would you like to see Black Ops 4 as the next COD game? Or do you want something different like a whole new series in Call of Duty? Also drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video. Again, I'm sorry for not posting videos lately. But I am going to work on being a bit more active despite the views that my uh, videos are getting. They are kind of low right now. Uh, but I don't know. I guess it's another reason why I have not been motivated to post more. But again, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to start bringing more entertaining content out to you guys. So thank you so much for watching and supporting me. Till next time, I'll see you later.